What is up friends and YouTube and welcome back to the channel and this right here is the Blackview A70 quick unboxing and initial impressions video. Okay, so before anything else, in case you're not aware, this isn't the first attempt for Blackview to hit the Philippine market. You see, back in 2015, during the era of the locally branded smartphones were booming in the market, one of the brands that entered the country was Blackview. Although, they didn't exactly bring that much flair to the table. I mean, sure, they had a product launch, but it didn't exactly have a follow-through, which is basically the missing piece of the puzzle to sustain brand recall, with dominant players like Cherry Mobile, MyPhone, Star Mobile, and CloudPhone to name a few which were really heavy in promoting their products across the board. Pretty much how you see Nadine Lustre on TV whenever a commercial of Oppo kicks in on TV. Producing smartphones and tablets left and right, appealing to the mass consumers since back then, to get the best of the best, you need to fork out that much money, unlike today in 2021. Priced at just $100 to $200 or roughly 5,000 to 9,000 pesos, you already have a fully functional smartphone. So with that being said, we have here the Blackview A70, which is one of the latest of what Blackview has to offer, which I think is geared towards the budget segment, since this is priced within the range of $100. The device comes with a 6.52 inch IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. This comes with Android 11 out of the box, 32GB of internal storage, paired with 3GB of RAM, and a massive 5380mAh battery with a quad camera configuration, 3 in the back, and 1 in front. Running the show is a 1.6 GHz octa-core Uni SoC processor with a Power VR GE8322 GPU, which although it's not the best of the best, it performs as intended for an entry-level device. Now I wouldn't bank on gaming as much, and if you're a power user, I would strongly recommend going for something more than the A70, like the A80 series from Blackview perhaps. But if you're just looking for a device that can get the job done, this is it, for less than $100. Originally this is priced at $129.99. But most often than not, e-commerce platforms like Banggood, Gearbest, Shopee, and Lazada, to name a few, offer discounts that can substantially lower the price, which is amazing. In terms of photography, there are three lenses on the back where the primary lens is a 30 megapixel AI shooter which can detect scenes and bring out the best imagery at this price point. Sadly, I was not able to take photos to showcase due to the lack of time, but my associate Elaine did manage to squeeze in a few selfies using the front-facing camera, which is quite shocking to be honest. Here we have a set of photos taken with the black view. All three are shot with the front camera using the photo mode. The next set of photos are taken with the portrait mode where it adds a little bit of bokeh or blur in the background. For comparison purposes, these are photos of Elaine using an iPhone 11 Pro Max indoors. And as you can see, even if the device is just a fraction of the price of that of an iPhone 11 Pro Max, the Blackview A70 still managed to do a great job for this price point. I mean, sure, there are some noticeable artifacts which may affect the overall imagery, but with a bit of tweaking and a good amount of light, the Blackview A70 can still give you good looking photos to capture those precious moments or for social media sharing. In addition to the camera is the battery life. Since the Blackview comes with a 5380mAh battery, despite having this huge display paired with an entry-level processor, you can easily survive 3-4 to four days on a single charge with moderate use. Overall, I'd say the Blackview A70 is a good purchase, especially for consumers who are looking for a device that can run the test of time. Sure, it doesn't have flagship specifications where you can play graphic intense games, but it is a survivor and for some, the endurance is more important as opposed to being a device for entertainment. And that pretty much sums it up for this quick review and unboxing video of the Blackview A70. If you did enjoy this video, a sub to the channel would be very much appreciated. Like this video and comment below your thoughts on this device. Shout out to Janus Creator Pinotech Dead for sending this over. Thanks again for watching. This is Chris, and you've watched Crisis Point, and I'll catch you in the next.